It's June and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, it's summer reading and fun at the library all summer long. Welcome to the June edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein, and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. All ages are invited to sign up and join in this year's summer reading program, Oceans of Possibilities, all summer long. We invite you to dive into reading and join special programs for all ages. More on that later. Friday Night Movies on the Plaza returns in June with Encanto, Luca, Soul and the original Karate Kid. And of course, we've scheduled fabulous cinematic fish tales all summer long, such as Finding Nemo, The Little Mermaid, Moana, and even Jaws. Bone Lady and author Mary Mannheim is back with a new book, Murder in the Cities of the Dead, while other programs such as The Writer's Workshop and Journaling Through Grief keep us grounded in the written word. Our Juneteenth celebration takes place at Delmont Gardens, and the Soul Lab Hip Hop and Arts Festival takes place at the Main Library on Sunday, June 5th. This is a new event for us. It's hosted by Mark Dubb and DJ Soul Lab Baton Rouge and sponsored by Yes We Cannibal and LMNOP.art. It features a hip hop showcase, art show, and freestyle cipher. Adults can get their hands dirty with the Master Gardeners or work through nature journaling with Garden Discoveries. Come out for plant swaps or catch up with author Gwen Rowland in her archive presentation during the Springs One Book One Community Series. And we're still hosting the Red Stick Farmers Market each Tuesday afternoon from 3.30 to 6.30. Stop by on your way home. Novak returns with special film camps for teens, and the Career Center is bringing back their popular summer series, Cool Careers for Teens. And speaking of careers, I'm happy to report that the Career Center's YouTube channel, now with more than 1,000 subscribers and hundreds of thousands of views, they're really taking it to the next level. Also in the virtual world, this month's business forum features Chris Tuff, author of The Millennial Whisperer and Save Your Ask. Visit the online calendar at ebrpl.com for specific dates and registration information, or check out this month's copy of The Source, in print or online. It's 36 pages of fun for the whole family. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. We sure love all the ebooks, audiobooks, and streaming media available through the digital library. But let's not ever forget that research is at the root of all we offer online. A lot has changed since we first put the magazine index online in the 80s. It's time to find out more in the digital download. When it comes to research, quality matters. Sage Journals offers top-class content and is available for free through the digital library. It's a resource for high school or college students and beyond. It contains high-impact research articles from leading academic journals. Sage contains over 1,000 of these journals. For many of these journals, you won't find access to them anywhere else online. Sage Journals covers disciplines such as the humanities, social sciences, science, technology, and medicine. Some key titles include Economic Development Quarterly, Developmental Child Welfare, and Nursing Ethics. For journal providers that produce a podcast or video content, you also have access to those. You can search by keyword, topic, or browse entire archives of specific journal titles. 
For most articles, you can save or print PDF versions. Figures and tables inside articles can be saved separately to insert into your work. Take a look at Sage Journals on the Digital Library page at ebrpl.com. Thanks, Andrew. We already had access to thousands upon thousands of journal articles in EBSCO, but Sage Journals takes it to the next level, especially when you consider the connections to podcasts and video content. You really wouldn't find that anywhere else. Let's shift gears and check in with Jessica McDaniel reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. You don't need a lab coat to be a scientist. We're here at the River Center Branch Library to learn how you can contribute to real scientific research. Let's check it out. My name is Ann Munson. I'm the reference librarian here at the River Center Branch, and I've got a program that is on citizen science. I started it actually because we've been doing the one book, one community, Louisiana, Atchafalaya, nature, outdoors, and I just sort of thought that kind of built on that. I actually got interested in this uh, sort of a two-pronged way. What happened was one of my old co-workers told me about Zooniverse. It's spelled universe, but with a Z-O-O. And it's basically online citizen science programs. And so I'll just spend like my lunch hour looking at camera trap species ID programs from wildlife of Los Angeles. It's basically it's science that is participated in by ordinary people, people without degrees, not in a lab. You can do it either by going out and counting birds or by just going online and looking at pictures from camera traps and telling people what species is that. This is sort of an overview. There's a small section on what citizen science is, what some uh, resources the library has, what some resources are local, and some online resources, as well as a small section on the apps that sort of play into citizen science as well. Anybody of any age would love this. Uh, in fact, one of the programs I talk about, I've mentioned it, SciStarter. If you go searching for a program, you can actually search them by age, including um, grade school, middle school. They even have a section for families on there, and it will filter the programs by ones that are appropriate for kids, for families, for different age. And frankly, I love this because it gets kids invested in the natural world. It gets them interested in what's around them. They start paying more attention. And that is absolutely good for everybody. Discover databases like Access Science, Greenfile, and more in the digital library at ebrpl.com. Ever since we partnered with the City Parish Data Academy and Baton Rouge Green for GIS Day, to push out the My Tree app, I've had citizen science on the brain. It was brought home even more this past spring with all the emphasis on paying attention to our environment during our One Book, One Community series. There's so much data out there for residents to plug into and library staff is happy to help you dig right in. Stay right there. After the break, Tara Deering, coordinator for children's services, joins me for a chat right here on the Library Road Show. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that free entertainment is good for us all. That's why we make ebooks and audiobooks available for free through the Libby app. Grant free access to unlimited streaming music and video through Freegal, Canopy and IndieFlix. Get a library card. Get free entertainment at ebrpl.com slash digital library. You're watching the June edition of the Library Roadshow. Everything you need to know about your local library system. Now for decades, the first day of June has meant the start of the summer reading program in the library. And 2022 promises to bring it all back with oceans of possibilities at the library. Tara Deering manages all of our summer offerings for children, as well as the Beanstack platform for all ages. And she's joining me right now. Okay, Tara, first of all, why do we even have a summer reading program? Well, we have a summer reading program to try to combat that summer slide that kids go through. So this is a very serious purpose. It is a very this. serious purpose, but with a lot of fun. That's so. right, because I'm all about bribing children to keep reading. Yes. <laughs> and you have got so much planned. What's on deck 
on deck <laughs> for 2022. This theme seems pretty fishy to me. It is. It are, is an are ocean things of possibilities. That's right. And yes. are we here in person at the library? We are here in person, but we haven't forgotten our, our patrons who would like to stay at home and be cautious. So we have a little bit for everybody. That's great. So so it starts uh, June 1st with the STEM kickoff. Tell me about that. Yes. So the STEM kickoff, we have uh, several vendors that are going to be out there to just kind of share their... Um, here at the main library. Here at the main lab library in the plaza. We have some uh, two programs that are going to happen for our younger kids, K through uh, fifth grade. And then we have some STEM stuff for our tweens and teens. And what is STEM? STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And we add the A and make it we, STEAM. We make it STEAM. That's, That's right. right. And so, full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. Oceans That's right. Of possibilities. So I can lots. keep this up all day. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, so we have this STEM kickoff, mm -hmm. which is basically fun in the plaza yeah, all it's day. Four hours of just jam-packed fun. And will we have a special visitor? Dressed in a giant bear costume. We could possibly have a very fun, fun present. Uh, well, the uh, children visit. named Cuddles last year. Yes, Cuddles got his name last year, yeah. um, and he could be making an appearance. I think so. Um, he is air conditioned, so we'll see what yes. happens. Yes. Who are the major performers that you're bringing in all summer long? Okay. So we've got Harvey Rabbit and Friends coming <gasps> yes. back. Yay. Yes, yes. We also have Farmer Miner and Daisy the Reading Pig. We have pig. to have that pig. You gotta have that pig out on reading. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Jonnet Downing, our local fun oh, music. She's so and wonderful. Just, just fantastic books. And so she'll be here to share her um, Grins and Fins oh, I like uh, that. program with us. Uh -huh. And then we also have Ocean Adventures. It's a new part, new group I'm that we've not had. I'm very excited about this one. That's right. It's a, it's a husband and wife team and they do all sorts of under ocean video um, programs. And so they'll come and they'll share all their adventures. They're bringing inflatable life-size sharks. Okay. So some of the libraries are going to have a 25 foot shark. Others might have a 40 foot shark. Oh my goodness. It is going to be exciting. It'll be like when those dinosaurs get right. Oh my and gosh. And of course, we always have the ballet coming That's as well. That's right. Different kinds of ballet, jugglers, cheese, you name it. Cheese it's here man. at yes. the library. But we also have a, another fantastic performer. She's a little fishy, isn't we she? We did. She, she's a little fishy. Her name is Ariel. Okay. And she's going to be joining us from the Petite Princess Company. Okay. So, so come by to one of our branches and so visit So mermaids with Ariel. live at the library. That's right. <laughs> and, and I do love the fact, Tara, that we scatter these programs throughout the whole system. Yes. You don't have to just come to the main library or one of the big regionals Right. to get to go to these free, fabulous programs right. most all of them summer are, long. Most of our big performers are offered at all 14 branches, and those that can't make it to all 14 mm -hmm. are scattered throughout the entire parish so that everyone has an opportunity to visit one of these programs. And then, like you said, we haven't forgotten our families that need to stay at home or can't get to the library. Right. So we have Page Turner's Adventures yes. and Checkers, and right? And Checkers Library TV. So oh. we have six weeks full of fun. Um, five days a week from Page Turner Adventures, and then one video a week for eight weeks from Page Turner, from uh, Checkers Library TV. And Checkers Library TV, if they are able to make it into the library, we do have some um, materials that we'll print out and have those available okay. for the patrons. Well, well, how do people sign up? Because in the old days, you just got a little piece of paper, and you yes. still can, but there's you a better still way can. now. You still can do the paper log if you'd like, and we'll go ahead and do the digital side of it for you. But most of our patrons, we really want to encourage them to use our digital format now. And so they can sign up online at ebrpl.beanstack.org. Okay. And uh, they can sign up for one of our wonderful, we've got four wonderful reading programs for all ages, not just children. We've got all the way through adulthood. Adults so. can read too That's and get right. their reward. That's right. Everybody gets rewards for reading. remember, it's all about <laughs> bribing <laughs> to keep reading all summer long. We have great yes. incentives this so. year. Tara, I'm just so happy about the wide range of programs and performances and these activities that you've mm -hmm. lined up for the summer. It's really great to see families streaming back into the yes. library 
for this summer. So you and your staff had just better eat your Wheaties. Oh yes, we're gonna have to keep up with everybody. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll maybe have some good tuna fish for protein. Yeah. <laughs> After the break, poet Catherine Savage Brosman plus book reviews from one of our younger library patrons. All that and more coming up next on the Library Road Show. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that staying informed is good for us all. That's why we provide free access to the New York Times and other national newspapers online. Permit free access to niche magazines and articles through Press Reader. Get a library card. Get informed at ebrpl.com slash newspapers. So I've come up with the family emergency plan. Great. What is it? It's difficult to talk about, so I'm not telling you. How will we know what to do? You won't. I'm so glad I won't have to remember anything. And me too. Thanks for this, sweetie. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Welcome back to the June edition of the Library Roadshow. Catherine Savage Brosman is Professor Emirata of French at Tulane University. She's a scholar in French and American literature and foremost, a poet. Catherine hosted a program last month here at the Main Library on Goodwood where she discussed her process for writing and her latest book of poetry entitled Arm in Arm. Catherine joins me now by phone. Catherine, how did you get your start as a poet? I began by publishing articles and a book in the field of French literary criticism. French literature was my academic field. But I began writing poetry as a girl, then studied English literature in college, and belonged to an informal poetry group mentored by an English professor. Poetry was not taught as a creative writing topic there. My first good and publishable poems appeared when I was in my late 20s. What is Arm in Arm about? This is a book of original poetry, in English, of course, on a wide range of topics and in various tones and forms. It is upbeat, generally, with pleasing poems on places, people, trees and flowers, foodstuffs, love, hurricanes, and so on. Six war poems grouped together are not, of course, upbeat. They are grim. There are 14 poems on saints and martyrs as represented in medieval iconography. What inspired you to write this collection of poems? The volume is a continuation of my earlier poetry books. This is number 14. That is, I've pursued subjects that have interested me in the past, given some new treatment in various voices and registers, and enlarged the scope with new tones, particularly satire. What do you hope readers will take away from your work? Happiness and understanding. Faulkner said that the aim of literature was to lift up man's spirit. Good poems shed light on experience, our own and others, and thus bring about comprehension and tolerance. Put differently, like the other fine arts, poetry seeks ultimately, beauty, truth, and goodness. And how can our viewers learn more about you? They can consult the Amazon Books site to get the titles of my poetry books and others and see most of the covers. Look at my entry in the English language Wikipedia, which, which gives a biographical sketch, a few critical responses, and a condensed bibliography. I'm listed also in the French language Wikipedia and numerous literary sites. A full listing of my books and certain manuscripts, numbered collection number 685, is available on the site of the Howard Tilden Library at Tulane University. Thanks, Catherine. I love how you paint pictures with words. Catherine's poems may be found in the library and in her many scholarly essays, which are searchable online in the digital library. 
It's now time to check in with one of our younger patrons to find out what they've been reading at the library. My name is Victoria and I'm four and my favorite book is the bunny book. In the winter time, they turn white. In the summer time, they turn brown. When they run fast, they can jump over rooms. Also barns, and also farms, and also farms, and also tractors. Sometimes there's Flopsy Mopsy ones. Is this a Flopsy Mopsy? I think so. What is this one called? I don't know. Let's call it a red eye bunny rabbit. And a red eye bunny rabbit. My mom and my dad brings me to the library. When I come to the library, I like to read books. Thanks, Victoria. When the topic of a book matches a child's interest, it's magnetic. I am so pleased that you're finding books that light you up at the library. Stay right there. You're watching the June edition of the Library Road Show. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library System believes that knowing where you come from is good for us all. That's why we grant free access to genealogy resources available through Ancestry.com. Make the vast historic resources of Heritage Quest available to you online. Get a library card. Get your family tree at ebrpl.com slash genealogy. You're watching the June edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Once every 10 years, Americans complete their registration for the U.S. Census. Now what happens to all that stuff? Well, numbers and demographic information is readily available soon after we send it in, but in the fullness of time, information including records and details related to the names of families and even individuals becomes visible. And the 1950s just came out of the vault. Let's check it out. Your library finds resources every day for you to explore. We're here at the main library at Goodwood celebrating a resource that only comes out every 10 years. Let's check it out. Today we are at the main library on Goodwood Boulevard. Uh, we're celebrating the release of the 1950 census with a nostalgic car show and doll show. And we're welcoming anyone who wants to come on down to uh, take a look at what we have here in the department and our resources and to maybe search for your family. Every 10 years, the United States does a census of everybody living in the country, and they hold that data a secret for 72 years. So on April 1st of this year, was 72 years after the 1950 census date, they released the full data set of the census. Now, for genealogists, census it, data is important because it shows who's living with who, where they're living, their ages, their occupations. So if you're trying to trace your family history, census data is very important to establish family connections and you can, then you can use the data to work your way back every 10 years in your family to see the relations between people. Today we're having the car show and the doll and toy show because we're trying to uh, attract attention to our department and show people that the past is still very much alive and with us. We at the genealogy department invite you to come on by on the second floor of the main library on Goodwood to look at the data from the 1950 census and all our other uh, genealogical data. If you're interested in establishing your family history, uh, we can sit down with you for an hour at a time and help you get started and help you on your way. And we appreciate anyone come in, no appointment necessary. Just come on in and say hello. We'll be glad to see you. Search census records and discover more genealogical resources in the digital library at ebrpl.com. Many thanks to the staff of Special Collections for taking us back to the 50s. 
Seeing those fabulous cars just brought a smile to my face. And of course, the one-on-one -on -one demonstrations and training for how to navigate the new 1950s data set from the census. Let's do it again in 10 more years. How about y'all? Do y'all listen to podcasts? Oh, yeah, I listen to plenty. So okay. Gonna... Today we're going to be doing the how to start a podcast class. So I introduce patrons to podcasting 101, basically, where they learn what a podcast is, the different constraints and challenges and equipment needed for running your own podcast. And then they can test out the equipment that we have here at the Makerspace, the innovation space of the Blue Bonnet Library, or they can get hands-on experience using podcasting equipment like microphones and mixers to kind of get started learning how to podcast. So you had a, a little gear there? Yeah, okay. I didn't know how it worked because it was more turned on. Okay. What kind, what kind of gizmo is that? Let's see. Did it come with like a USB cable or something? My sister did, though. Okay. We've had a wide range of people interested, young, old, who are interested in learning how to podcast. Some people that are interested in the audio aspect, others that are wanting to do audio and video. So a lot of different types of people for different reasons wanting to just learn how to use the audio equipment. For some podcast examples, uh, two of the ones I like uh, a lot that kind of got me into it were This American Life and Reply All. We normally do the How to Start a Podcast class uh, once a month. Uh, it used to be called the Audio Badging class and I've kind of changed the name to How to Start a Podcast just to kind of streamline it and focus on podcasting with our audio equipment. We have this class, we have a 3D printing class as well if you're interested in learning how to use a 3D printer. The space is really great because it provides access to this kind of equipment where once you've taken the class you can come back and book the space on your own and use it as a studio of sorts where you can record your podcast, you can edit, you can come back and use our, our, our computer and our equipment for all your podcasting needs or other like video editing or audio editing needs. This is such a great resource for teens and adults and a perfect example of how the new maker spaces can have a wide ranging effect. Badging to use specific equipment in maker spaces at River Center, Jones Creek, and Greenwell Springs is underway too. And now for today's contest. Visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash ebrpl. With all of the focus on oceans of possibilities, I'm thinking of fish for dinner. So why not share your favorite pescatarian delight? You might end up as the featured entry for Whatcha Cookin' Wednesday. That's facebook.com slash ebrpl, and while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow in July? More summer reading, of course. Tune into the show next month, and I'll share another free resource from inside the digital library at ebrpl.com. Coming up next month, I'll take you to another program at a library branch near you. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow, and remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. Mm -hmm.